demonstration, everyone that's watching. Uh, hopefully you found my blog post. I just wanted to do a quick roundup of uh, technology proof, seeing what's out there. Already running into bugs. I was trying to uh, test, get this going on my iPhone and I'm having trouble, but uh, it, it, you know, in some cases even works on mobile, which is cool. Um, I joined the room and it's just waiting for others to join, but the Google Hangouts, uh, as you can see, uh, I'm screencasting here. Let me switch over there. Uh, to this is the blog post I was at, uh, working on, uh, talking about YouTube Hangouts. Uh, what did I call this? How to use Google Plus Hangouts on air live with YouTube channels to podcast instantly. To podcasting. To start podcasting. Yeah, so I'm still working on that. To podcast instantly. So it's kind of an interesting tool. Uh, you know, we all love and hate Google. But I think it's important to know what's out there uh, as far as a channel or a medium for uh, content and voice. And so kind of whipping together a quick little uh, proof of technology. I uh, wish I could have got my mobile in there, pointed out the window a little more, show you what's out there. But this is a simple setup where I have two connections and one of them screen sharing, one of them with my uh, webcam. And I guess I could go back and forth and use one. but. Uh, one connection, one screen, but uh, the point remains the same. Uh, even if you don't have two, you can still quickly screen share, which I think is kind of like really the the ticket, the winner right there, uh, allowing people to quickly bring something up, talk about it, and point to sources. Uh, you get a snapshot of all this stuff in time baked into a video. And so I wanted to quickly just show what I've learned uh, about doing YouTube Hangouts. Um, and so, basically, I found uh, the the, st the things I stumbled upon were uh, trying to send people invites through the calendar. I thought was groovy because it's just one click right there in your calendar, and they get an invite. Uh, and so then you know it's kind of ready to go. Uh, maybe you're familiar with like GoToMeeting and stuff like that. Probably the, you know it's way over the top invite system, but. It was just a one-click, nice thing to have. Uh, problem is, you can invite that and probably via other ways, um, but I wasn't able to, uh, I didn't, you don't get this checkbox right here, enable Hangouts on air, uh, which is what you want. You get the little message here explaining to you that uh, not only will the video be streamed live via a YouTube embed player, but also uh, recorded and basically uploaded straight to your upload library. So let me show you briefly what that looks like in uh, my video manager on YouTube. Uh, I've only uploaded a few things kind of throughout my developer history here, but recently you can see um, me testing things out. I've made them private for now because uh, I was just playing around with them. Uh, but uh, you can see it just puts them right in there like a normal YouTube video. You can download the MP4 and edit it, annotate it. Uh, I don't think there's a whole lot of difference from your typical uploads. Um, so here I'm looking at the page. <laughs> There's not a lot of, uh, you know, again, this post comes out of a bit of my confusion about how all of this works. Uh, as the title implies, it's a bit wordy. You know, you got all these brand names like kind of colliding. You've got YouTube channels, you've got Google Plus, this Hangout thing, and then on air. Uh, I forgot to mention the blog post that even tags this stuff with a on air live uh, O A L I think is a, on air. It was a a tag that you'll see popping up on all this stuff. So, but here's some stuff that's happening right now on YouTube. I guess um, you can see get an idea for the different categories. You know, like they have video games pretty high in front and center up here. Uh, again, it's the power of screen sharing. And if you read my blog post, you understand that I'm trying to uh, get creatives to aspire for what they might be able to do with these tools. Um, so these are just ideas. But live sports streaming, news politics, more live gaming, right? Uh, live music. Again, this doesn't look like you're seeing some foreign languages here, which is great. But uh, unfortunately, the you know the the content gonna you're gonna have to sift through it yourself at this point. It looks like, um, and then. Google Hangouts on air. So it looks like these don't really have fit into a category. Looks like they're all the uh, a lot of the general public. And again, the messaging here is really difficult to figure out. Like, 
so like on this page, there's no button that says like start a live YouTube Hangout. <laughs> so uh, took me actually a little bit to figure that out, that you have to go to plus.google.com to do that, hence my uh, spending an extra couple minutes writing a blog post. Let's keep going down the list. It's interesting. Find more creative stuff, film and animation. I wonder what that's like, like man. That would be cool. So I've messed with like a live hacking, but I have some friends from co uh, colleagues from back in the day. It would be great to see them working in Maya and all the 3D uh, video production tools doing stuff live. Uh, probably some projects they could do open source. Uh, Nonprofit activism, not sure what that's all about. Style is pretty big. I think a lot of like, you know, girls show and makeup tips and that kind of thing um, makes a lot of sense. It's super easy to, I think, um, what I'm trying to say is it's super easy to start doing recordings like this. Uh, and unfortunately, you know, you don't get any editing with uh, the way I'm, I'm doing this, but keep it raw, just put it up there. It's better than not having it at all. You can always go back and edit it uh, later on. So not much uh, science and technology is just not popping up, but um, that's a trial. So that was one of the cooler sports ones I was watching earlier is this billabong uh, in Rio pro surfing. So this is kind of like what I recall, you know, early days of YouTube live streaming. They were in like the White House and Coachella and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, this is still a professional camera setup. Uh, you can see they're cutting to different segments and all this stuff. But let's go back and see what else. Uh, like, like, let's see what this guy is. He said fast video creation. That was kind of the uh, the theme I'm actually trying to go for here. Um, and so I don't know what he's up to, but anyone can quickly build an audience, and and uh, you know, and you can pull up a PowerPoint slide or you know props and. There's, uh, so to, I didn't get into that in the blog post, but there's actually a whole toolkit, uh, not a toolkit, but uh, apps that you can add to the Google Hangout, which I think is really where the magic comes in. Like I said, the screen sharing um, is a tab on the left. Uh, and there's a couple other ones, nothing too exciting right now, like YouTube. You can watch YouTube with friends, which uh, we all know I have a huge passion for, but I don't know if people are doing that in Hangouts like over video streaming yet. Uh, but I, I really think that tools to... Um, make like higher production quality uh, but quicker right without having to go back and edit so well actually let me throw on the bottom third uh, you can just see you know there's just some basics here that everyone's going to be using when they quickly create these little masterpieces uh, so this guy's not doing it let's get rid of him take you back to him. my blog post hit save um, Oops, I started typing a little hard. It looks like it beeped at me for that. But uh, there's a whole bunch of options here. I could take some screenshots. Unfortunately, I'm not showing the Hangout itself. But um, there's some tools where you can create a bottom third, like you can see here now, Jeff Pelton, Master of the Web. Uh, on the spot, didn't think of anything as creative. Um, hacker and, oh, wait, yeah, and you can do presets and stuff. So actually, here's my, there we go. That was uh, what I was using the other day when I was doing the test. There's, also a clock you can flip on. Um, I can mirror the image for myself, I think. Uh, and real quick to show the uh, the comical capabilities, you can quickly do a little face detecting. Uh, I don't know what you call that, anonymity or something. You can upload your own picture too. So it can quickly get entertaining. I'll turn that off. There we go. And then a couple controls to like control the volume and audio. Um, but hopefully we don't need that too much right now. So uh, that's about wraps it up. Let me check out this post, see if there's anything else I wanted to mention. Uh, I just think that this is a really powerful tool for people that like need to do a screencast really quick and publish it straight to YouTube. No software, no rendering, uh, or like no downloaded software. Uh, so the fact that this is available uh, is just nice to know. And, you know, I'll be looking at the competitors, but unfortunately it doesn't seem like a whole lot's changed um, in the past few years, except um, finally Google's products kind of like all tying together. And I think it's pretty interesting, like I said, even all the way into the depths of the calendar application, uh, it's all tied together. So, you know, it's good to know how it works, whether we end up uh, using it full time or not. Uh, 
I think it's a cool tool for people to be able to collaborate with each other um, and you know reach through the wire and uh, start sharing uh, sharing more. So hopefully uh, this was helpful. Uh, if it was, make sure to send me a message or leave a comment or uh, you know scream at me uh, face to face, however you can.